Mike's definitely getting started on the next project without me. But I've got part of the pieces for it. Yeah, I make it hold like I like. a big hole in the side of the bus, baby. I know. You are not messing around with that. Hello. That's not sharp metal in there. Nope. Be careful. Okay, so here's our first problem that we have to try to figure out. Come look. The first problem of the build. Yes. That. That thing coming over at an angle? Comes over at an angle. Because we obviously can't put it on that angle. Yeah, it has to go under the angle, but it has to be wide enough out that it... it to accommodate this. Yeah, to accommodate this. So, so it is an issue that I can't seem to quite figure out. So first off, let's make sure that this will fit in this space. All right, if I take the handles off, it'll fit in that space. Okay. okay. These little, these handles right here. Yeah, if I yeah. take them off both sides, it'll just fit in here. So there's two things we could do. One, we make it low and then we grill down here. <laughs> um, two is we make it go in at a slight angle and it comes out at a slight angle, which is, that's doable too. Technically the drawer slides could be down to here if we want to, but it would be nicer if I can not put them that low. This thing is about 18 inches wide overall, roughly. 18 inches. This is 20 and an eighth. I think going in at a slight angle is our best bet. Knowing that, we need to come down from these joists 10 and a half inches. We'll say 10 and three quarter because of these stupid bolts right here. So 10 and three quarters down from the roof. We do have one lipped piece of metal here that we can use to attach to, but the rest of these, we're gonna have to do like a hanger or drill screw into it with a heavy, heavy lag screw. This is difficult, what we're doing right now. Nothing is easy about this one. Gotcha. This one just sucks. <laughs> so instead of making a frame like this, that hangs down from the ceiling. We're gonna have like a piece going across that attaches to the joist here like this, uh -huh. and then there'll be things coming, coming down, down from it, but they might extend out. Well, if it was mounted like this right here, it fits perfectly in here. Like crazy, it fits perfectly in here. We're going angled. We're going angled. You just, that just settled it for you? Yeah, because after holding it up there and realizing it's going to slide out easily, that just told the whole thing. Because we also have to account for the fact that the propane hose has to be able to articulate in all this so it doesn't... Oh yeah, it has to be able to kind of bunch up when you slide it in, but then mm. extend when you slide it out. Yeah. Good thinking, Lincoln. We have some smaller stuff. I do believe it would be... Let's go see if this will... There's a big piece of angle iron right here. See that big oh, chunk? that's a big... Well, that's what we need right there. Okay. Super finder! You want the nitty-gritty details of what's going on in my head right now? Uh, you think I can handle it? Think we can the take... width of the opening is 20 inches, right? Right. If... We come at it from an angle. Here's the opening. Uh -huh. We're coming at it from an angle. What's the width of the opening now? It's small. Exactly. That's what's going through my head right now. It's not a big amount, but it's an unknown amount. What size is that? 
Where's that big drill bit? Ah, uh, you just used it again yesterday. What did you use it on? Is it still in the drill? It's not back in the drawer. Ah! It's the one. It's the one. Super fun to the rescue! <laughs> again? Oh yeah! Super finder, your head is getting bigger. <laughs> They're cheap, but they're the best addition to your drill press. What is that called? It's a uh, drill press vise. A drill press vise. I think that's what it's called. But do you see? Ta-da. Well, that's great advice. Ta-da. <laughs> that was a horrible joke. <laughs> what? <laughs> the worst ones are the best ones. <laughs> So quick and perfect. Yes. How are the chances of that happening? What? Does it fit? <laughs> sort of. I gotta cut some of this off. Okay, I tell that that's gonna be quite a bit better than it was. Okay, how does it look? Get it okay, right yeah, here. let me see. Now you're like here. Pretty close. Oh, now you're like here. So it's like right on with this or no? Actually, that does look kind of right on with this. Okay. All right, hand me the, that piece of metal we made. This one? Yeah. Oh, it has a notch out of it to go around the other bolt. Yes. This is not gonna let me get close enough. Can you find an extension for this ratchet? Oh. You know what an extension is? Um, is it, it's like in that the box. Middle piece? Oh, okay. This one, right? Okay, that's it, but hold on. Aim this right at that edge right there. Oh. Good? It's pre pretty close, I think. I feel like I should somehow mount those sliders on here right now and then measure. The thing is, is that I need to know what parallel is on this. Because just because these are pointed at those edges doesn't make this parallel. Yeah. It just means we're pointed at the edges. Yeah. So how do we find out if they're parallel? Well, I think the best way to do it is with two pieces of metal clamped to this, to these, and then measured. So I think that's what we're gonna have to do. However, I am happy with what's happening here. I have a good feeling about it. So, what do we got in the way of straight metal, huh? Oh yeah, a couple pieces of this angle iron would be ideal. Why? angle iron by its nature is straight. You guys don't think for one second that Mike keeps all his metal scraps organized over here. That's what told it. Baloney! That's what I did! Stop taking I'm the one who puts all the Cole. metal in the metal place and all the wood in the wood place. Stop taking credit for Cole's hard work. Cole didn't organize any of your crap. He burned all your crap. <laughs> Look, I'm under the bus again. <laughs> I hate my life. Someday, I won't have to do this anymore. Very often. Anyway. Someday pretty darn soon, my honey. We only can hope. So, measuring from here to here, we have 19 and a half, and measuring from here to here, we have 17. <laughs> Three quarters. And from here to here, we have 19. Here to here, we have 18 and 7 eighths. And over here, we have 
18 and 7 eighths. Nice. That's our measurement. This measurement has to be so accurate because the sliders don't work if you do it wrong. They'll be... Uh, they can't slide in and out unless they're perfectly parallel. Yeah. first before then we wash then we paint well at least we have something to start painting with once again with the self-etching primer this stuff is awesome though like if you aren't using self-etching primer on bare metal you're just creating work for yourself this stuff sticks to the metal so much better than uh, regular primer because it etches its own uh, way into the metal, creating a bond that the uh, regular paint does not. These are our big, huge sliders. Ginormous sliders. <laughs> totally out of the frame from end to end. <laughs> They're huge. Well, that leaves perfect marks on the top. It did, didn't it? <laughs> you know exactly where those things are. Yep, now we need drill holes for it. Okay. Okay, hold it right there. Oh, oh please go in. Oh, yep. Yay! Finally! Woo! There we go. Hey, so far so good. One. Buff two. Okay. There we go. So right there. Yeah, I think it looks good enough. Okay, so now that we know that. Uh, two more screws. Is there any oh. more? Yep. on the head. Oh god, we're so good at this. You got it? Yeah. Wow. Excellent work, my honey. That's a big deal. Wow, at that weird angle, I can't believe you got him so good. Look at this handiwork. Okay. I got to get this little frame that goes up here. Comes down over here. Both sides of the drawer slide. Okay. Now it's time to Let's make put frame. the grill on it. We gotta make a frame. I can feel my body fold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me. Look at me deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. So put your hand in mine. Follow me. Let me waste your time. Set up the do some stupid shit. Take a seat. Let me waste your time. So be so put your
delicious. Time for a coffee break. That's right. And then grinding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so not really a break, just coffee. Let's just measure grinding. this real quick just to be. Boom, 18 on the head. Ugh. That's what we needed. Really Excellent. exact 18. I know, yeah, it couldn't be. I couldn't have built that. this when we first started. My welding wasn't good enough. My, my welds haven't got better, but my manipulation of metal has. I like how you color coordinated to work on the grill today. Did I? You like that? Yeah. I planned it, of course. This is so cool. I'm going to have to cut that thing and make it come out the bottom somehow. Really? Yeah, because I think I just don't want this thing to be like, because it's so close that it's going, the, the hose, if it came out straight, would just be a problem. Oh. So if I make it come out the bottom. You just have to cut the pipe and put a new fixture on it? Or something like that. I'm not sure yet. What I propose we do with this is we drill new holes and we weld on two pieces of strap across here that these things, that the holes will match up with. And then we can screw this down with washers and lock nets and screw it to the strap going across this. I think that's the best idea. Because that way it'll sit like this and on those straps. Treat you like your heaven. You thought that I knew better. Keep falling for your innocence. Acting like you're into me. I know this is hopeless. Moving in slow motion. Trying to control my thoughts. But I can't stop our bar talk. This is a no go. I just can take cold. It's starting to get cool out here. I know. I'm trying to rush see. through this. Do you need a jacket? No. Okay. Let me know if you need a hoodie or something. Thank you. Feeling pretty good right now. Just moving around. That welding is keeping you warm for sure. For sure. <laughs> Not to mention the fresh coffee in the belly. That's right. Afternoon coffee. Not something we do every day. Afternoon delight. Afternoon delight. Just scuffing it? Just, yep, just a slice. This is meant for actually automotive paint applications. And this is just the finest, really, really fine scuff. Before you paint it. Yep, it just promotes adhesion. Starting to look pretty nice. It is, I like it. The deconstruction of the grill. Or Frank and Mike's monster. <laughs> oh, my. Look at that. It all just right. comes all apart. And there's the tube that's in question right there. Okay, this guy needs to have a little makeover. Yep. It's your lucky day, little guy. So I gotta cut that and make it go down. I did get 3 8 inch, which is, ta-da, it's perfect. Okay, so I gotta deconstruct some more here. You have to take all that off? Yeah. Because I need to get this thing uh, accessible. Okay, now we can take this over and do our work to it. Uh, that should be flared more than the last one we did, slightly. Put the case on first. Oh, I hate my life. 
so dumb. Oh, so sorry, I just barely realized that now. <laughs> Not as sorry as I am. <laughs> <laughs> I know, after everything you just went through. Okay, it does. It's supposed to happen once a year in human. <laughs> I was just hoping it was not going to happen on this one. Right, since we only had one to do, why did it have to be the only one? That's like a 100% failure rate. <laughs> and so the flaring begins. See, it's got a good seating right there. Oh, good. So now. Okay. Section, airtight. <laughs> yep. We're good. This is the igniter, okay. Simple. Is that everything? For sure. It just seemed so easy. Well, part of that was easy. There we go. Ta da! I think one of the next steps we need to do is put the grill on here, get it exactly where it needs to be, and then drill the, the, the holes in it. Then take it off, take this over there, and start the actual installation process of this thing. Okay, while well, we're waiting for the paint to dry? Yeah, so is that still in the car? Something satisfying about doing rivets, the permanence of it. Yeah, I think they're cool too. Hell yeah. So now I can drill the rest of them. Man, these are nicer than the last. Probably a softer metal, I don't know. Either that or your strength has just increased so much that they seem easier to you. You know, I think you're right. It has to be that. It has to be. I'm just buffer. Totally. Obviously. I mean, look. No. <laughs> you seen the guns? <laughs> Obviously, I, was, I didn't even think about that, but they are huge. <laughs> I like to think I'm stronger after all this. Let's just go with it. Yeah, bus fit. Let's go put this on the bus now. All right, let's do it. Oh, it's the fuel tank. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. 
Okay, let's open it. I love the first time we get to use whatever you just installed. It's perfect. Kind of cool. <laughs> Wait a minute. Has it backwards? All right, let's drill some big holes. I know, this is really exciting. I say that about every project we're doing, huh? How exciting, this is so exciting. I'm so excited. Right, you do too. But I mean it every time, like I'm literally excited every time. Okay, so let's pull this thing out. Okay. Under the metal frame? Yep, right in the, the middle. Right here. Perfect. Come over here. Okay. Hold this side. Okay, stay right there for an hour. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I gotta get some screws. Hold on. Is it supposed to be up that high? Push it in. What was that? Oh, you son of a <laughs> Okay, pull it out. <laughs> okay, hold it out here again. We gotta come down just a freaking hair over here. Okay, ready to hold this edge again? I'm gonna drop this whole side down just a slight bit. Yeah. With inches to spare, or at least an inch, as the case One may be. One inch to spare. One inch. I want to try it. Close it. I love it. You better go get your phone. I know you're going to want to Instagram this immediately. We need some shrimp on the Barbie. Okay, you want to hand me that valve? Sure. What I just made? The crazy thing? Yeah. And a screwdriver. Fancy. And a standard or Phillips? That one. And a hose clamp too, please. Thanks. Mm -hmm. The other piece of hose, please. And a hose clamp. Okay, I don't know one way to test it now. Oh, there was some gas. Wrong gas, baby. You just lit it up? Sweet. There it is. I have to admit, that's cool. <laughs> Some <laughs> diggity. Man, that's cool. Very cool. Wow. The only thing I have to do left is to build our little mini table over here and stuff. Yeah. Gotta wash my hands so we can make some chicken tonight. You want to see what cookie? How's that chicken on the Barbie, my love? It's delicious as usual. Oh, oh my look at that! Grilling it up on the bus grill. That's right. Got a little bit chilly out here when the sun went down, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely need a little platform right there. Yeah. It'll be so nice. It'll be perfect. Yep. You ready for this delicious? I'm ready for this delicious. Oh, 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 they're splitting open. Cute. He looks so excellent. Stop the time.